Uh, I should be I was... back. Okay. Oh yeah, I think you're back. Um, oh, I was, I, saving... was, I was mad about myself for that, because I did electric flying, but I could have done electric, I mean, I could have done flying normal, because there's so many flying normal types. Yeah, there's a ton of flying normal types. Uh, stream, am I back? Hello? I'm trying to refresh Twitch. Yep. All right. Thanks, Abby. Uh, all right. We're going to do a prediction to see between the three of us can win. Um, I sincerely doubt that me or Derpster have a chance, but hey. I might go find something to eat real quick. That's I'm how cocky she is. <laughs> She's on gym five already. I haven't even started, by the way. I was gonna, I was gonna use a waterfall Gyarados for my water mono run, but I might as well just keep using Fisher's friend Dracovish. Oh, no. Dragon. All right, will it be yeah. Jordan? I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Do you right. want to come with me and get something to eat, Mr. Manor? Oh, that sounds great. All right, cool. Let's go get something to eat together. <laughs> I vote in the prediction. You froze on my screen. You're fine now. Yeah, I had to restart the stream. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> How you doing? How's your thinking? Alright, okay? I've used all my rare candies now. Which feels odd. I don't like it. <laughs> I miss my rare candies. Um... What level did you get it to? 88. Oh, okay. Uh, I need this. And I need this. Lucario, I'm not giving you any of it. It's my food, not yours. Whatever, we'll rock with, uh, with, oh, yeah. <laughs> with Missing Note. Okay, I mean, my, my brother has a dog, he's a white husky, and his, he named him after his favorite Pokemon, which is Lucario, so. I think it's a good a dog, dog name, to be fair. It, it fits him, he looks like a Lucario. Not like the Pokemon, but he looks <laughs> he like- He looks like Lucario! <laughs> he's got this weird he's metal blue. spike coming out of his chest, too. It's a, I don't know about <laughs> For, Maybe you should bring him to a doctor. It's funny that Lucario stands on two legs, but my dog's hind, hind legs are paralyzed, so. It's adorable. It is adorable as a name. Did you vote in the prediction, by the way, Jordan? I didn't. Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be you. Oh, I know, we need to raise speed. Reduce his defense, that's fine. Bum, bum, ba, ba, dum. Don't start without me, I'm leveling. <laughs> Derp, don't even worry about it, all right? We're both screwed at this point. We don't have a chance. Unless I found a unless I find a Giratina like instantly, there's no shot. You could probably like catch up if there's I... no hope. <laughs> really slowly. There is no hope. 
Don't act like there's hope. <laughs> I didn't realize I was gonna one shot everything the way I'm doing. Right you are now, a, so. you are a, freaking, what's it called? You are stronger than a legendary. All right, Dracovish is stronger than any legendary in the game besides maybe like, Calyrex, or like oh. Groudon or Kyogre. I was gonna ask you, how is it? Is what's his face in the game? Um, Mega Rayquaza. Is he in the game? Yeah, he is. I actually fought one. I've seen I've seen trainers have it, but like, can can I have a Mega Rayquaza? How do I go about? All that? right, Jordan, are you ready for the annual Pokemon questionnaire? Um, sure, I guess. All right, step it to the plate. The boom boom. All right, how does how does Rayquaza Mega evolve? With a Rayquaza knight, by the No, you're <laughs> stupid. There's no Rayquaza knight. Rayquaza is the exception. I, I know there isn't. All right, so how does a Mega evolve? Uh, isn't it with like a flute thing? No, it, it just needs to know the move Dragon Ascent. Oh. That's why he, that's why he was so broken because he gets a free Mega evolution with a strong move. All you uh, need. That's true. All you need to do is know, like, basically one of its best possible moves, and then you can for free Mega Evolve and give it a life orb on top of that. Casually. Um, Poker Abby, I would like to, um, report a bug that I've been seeing lately. It's just happened twice. Um, Pokemon will, like, use a Z-move and then Mega Evolve. <laughs> <laughs> How does that- Oh, wait, was it Ultra Necrozma? No, 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 it was a- So, first it was a Latias. Who used Gigavolt Havoc and then Mega Evolved. That is and odd. Then, and then a, um... Oh, wait. Appar <laughs> yeah, apparently <laughs> Twitch doesn't want Abby to hear the bug. How did just get an ad as a sub? Are you still a sub, Gamath? It might have run out by now. Mine's about to run out. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm a sub? No, you're not. Gamath is. So, so, um, Pokemon will, like, use the Z-move, and then they will Mega Evolve right after they use the Z-move. That was the bug. I got Gigavolt Havoc by, a uh, Latias, and then it evolved. <laughs> and then, same thing happened with a Pidgeot, but it was, like, Supersonic Sky Strike or something, and then it Mega Evolved, and I was just sitting there like, what? Maybe if we believe hard enough, we can still win. You don't have to apologize, Poker Abby. I have. No, yeah. how dare you? <laughs> how dare you have a bug in the game that you completely made based off of Actually the game trash. <laughs> We were just saying, how dare you, um, you have a bug in the game that you made basically from scratch. Oh, shoot. No. Let's try it. Um... How dare you. To be fair, she technically didn't make it from scratch, but I mean. Well, I mean, because I know it's based off of Pokemon, but like, to make it into a roguelike, like, yeah, you took from Pokemon, but then, you know. <laughs> it's also, uh using the whole en engine of Emerald, but you know, I mean, it's basically from scratch. The idea is ba is literally from scratch, though. I have ears again, shoot away, Jordan. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was the bug? I didn't hear the original bug. Well, <laughs> say it again, Jordan. Pokemon use a Z-move, and then they Mega Evolve right after. Yeah, so she had a Latios that used Gigavolt Havoc, and then it um, Mega Evolved right after. Uh, Derpster, we, we generally... Are we going to start? Oh, yeah, we can start. Uh, we do Rainbow Mode, but if you really want, you could just do regular. It doesn't matter. You know what? I'm going to do normal. Maybe it'll give me a better chance. Oh? Wait, no, you don't get quests if you skip, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. You do not? No, you don't. Damn. Welp. 
<sighs> All right, Dragapult. What's the adjective for dragon types? What's the what for dragon types? The adjective. Um, people have said that they've found dragon types in Mighty and... Mighty and what? Rugged. But I think you just kind of randomly find them. The adjective for dragon is bugger, it's so it's chilly. Wait, it's bugged, so it's chilly? No way. What is the ice then? Is ice also chilly? Ice is also chilly. Wait, so it could just be one or the other. Wow, hashtag bad game creator. No, just... <laughs> Actually trash. <laughs> Can we get some hashtag bad game creators in the chat? No! <laughs> hey, Jordan started it, not me. I'll be fixed next fast. Sure it will be. That's what they all say. What if I find a Dracovish right now? Then I would eat a lot faster, that's for sure. Well, it uh, wouldn't have fishes, though. But do you- Okay, here's the question, chat. Do we think fishish rend is more broken, or busted dragon darts? Because I think there's a debate. What? Choice banded dragon darts. I think might be more broken. Well, I mean, they're both broken under a choice band in the same way. Yeah, but dragon darts can hit five times, so vicious one can only hit once. Yeah, but with strong jaw included, I wouldn't even be surprised if the DPS of vicious rend is still stronger. <laughs> of max hit, maybe not more than max hit, but it might be stronger than four hit. Dragon darts can hit at. Uh, two to five at the moment, so it depends on RNG. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, busted Dragon Darts. Derp, yeah, we found out uh, on another stream that Dragon Darts is busted in this game, and it's two to five times instead of just twice. So, uh, and it still has 50 base power, so that's why I wanted to use Dragapult. I gotta use it, uh, I gotta use it while bugged before Abby fixes it. <laughs> What I'm scared of is a fairy type. Juan! I hope Annabelle is your first gym leader, and I hope she has a Diancy. I hope not. <laughs> Actually, now I'm thinking about it. I'm five gyms in, and I haven't found Annabelle yet, so... I hope you get her and die to Xerneas. <laughs> to Nancy, she should to Xerneas. Give me a second. Aw, look at Vulpix, it's so cute. I will say, this is... I guess it's not necessary, like, necessary, but... Abby, is there any way that you could change all the monotype runs in the next update? To specifically just be, like, don't use it in a battle? Is that possible? Because, like... First of all, like, mons like Swablu are really annoying, because you can't, like... If you could, like, evolve it with the OP share and then just use it as, as an Altaria, that'd be a lot better. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of mons that are like that. Your game crashed, Derpster. What if I rush out a hotfix right now just for Dragon Darts? <laughs> I mean, I gotta finish my <laughs> run first. Would be too hard to force, but I get where you're coming from. Uh, it's not only that, too. There's another reason why I wanted to suggest that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, for example, I just ran, in, ran into an Alolan Vulpix, and I don't have that in my decks, right? And it's a good ice type, right? Um, so I wanted to catch it for my Pokedex, but I couldn't, because if you catch a Mon that's outside of the type, then it doesn't let you complete the quest, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many mons that I run into, legendaries and stuff like that, that I just want to catch for the decks, but then it'll ruin my monotype run, so I can't. 
But again, if it's too hard to implement, it's too hard to implement. It's no big deal. But that would be ideal, admittedly. So what he's saying is... That if you could fix it, that would be dope. But if you can't... He's completely, totally, and utterly disappointed in you, and he's And I'll never play the game right ever now. again. <laughs> Aw, Jordan. You know me so well. Because, <laughs> like, I remember one time I also ran into a... What is it? I ran into a Hoopa on a Legendary. And I wanted to catch it so I could use it as a starter, so I could get that other achievement. But I was in the middle of a monotype run, so I couldn't catch it. That sounds like a you problem. This is some emotional blackmail. <laughs> I just think that... I will say, I just don't see how... Like, if it is possible to implement and, like, relatively easy, I just think it's always a better decision. That was a mega Altaria. I wonder if Giratina can spawn out of this. That'd be pretty poggers. Oh, now I get Tapu Fini. Thanks, game. Remember when I needed this last time? Yeah. See, I mean, there's another example. I could catch that so I could get in the Safari, but uh, unfortunately, I can't. I think I can get Tapu Lele in the Safari. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best Tapu chat? I like Lele. Tapu, your mom. Damn! I like... <laughs> um... I like wait, Tapu wait, Fini. wait. Can we take a moment to appreciate the animation for Dragon Darts real quick? Look at this. Boom. <laughs> it's a little dreepies. <laughs> Tapu D's. Tapu D's nuts in your mouth. True. Absolutely true. She got my ass. Yeah, I'm excited for the basic bag um, implementation because uh, this rare candy stuff. I mean, it is optimal, but uh... wait. Oh, I should have used that. I'm so stupid. Deciding to be cheaty because you've played this 50 times again. Don't consider it a an actual race derp. We're, we're casually playing while also casually racing, all right? I'm, I will not say it enough. None of these races are official. <laughs> we'll, again, we'll do races where we, you know, are like really like anal. We'll start on the same seed, stuff like that. Because there is a seed option. I haven't messed with it yet. I accidentally messed with it. Do you still get achievements when you use a seed, Abby? <laughs> Actually, let's do this. This is good. Poke Abby, how? We have a question. <laughs> By the way, did you see the... You're in the Rogue Discord, right? Yeah. Did you see the new implementation of the graveyard? No. Oh, it's so cool. So now it's a PC. I will say, I still think that it could be a graveyard, like with the same lady. But I digress. Um, the way it works is way cooler. Um, basically, they uh, they pick three Pokemon that died in that current run, and you could pick one of them uh, to revive and put back in your party. Um, and, however, it'll give you a curse, which is a key item that you can't get rid of. And the one that she showed off is uh, Pokeballs are 50% less likely to work. So, you know, a little risk versus reward right there. Mechanically, it, it, it's so much cooler. I love it. When it's a thematically move away from your mod is dying to your mod just got released. I see. I see what you're saying. Okay. Fair enough. To be fair, what I will say, I, I was ragging on the uh, graveyard, but it's legitimately useful. <laughs> in uh, these runs where I'm trying to do two monotypes at once. 
Look at Cub Fu. <laughs> oh, I want to catch it so bad. It's more cheaty than the people. It's no more cheaty than the people who did all these quests on runs on lower difficulty. True. <laughs> get their asses, Abby. Get their asses. <laughs> get roasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't focus so hard on trying to win. If you do beat the run uh, before us by chance, then dope, you know. I've given up on winning, too, if it makes you feel any better, Derp. I, like, I've hardcore given up. Uh, my bag is full. Damn it. Okay. Um... Like, what am I supposed to do against a freaking Ficious Ren Dracovish? Spooky. I kind of want to go for Giratina, though. But Spooky could be huge. I'm going to go for Giratina. I'm crazy. <laughs> I was excited for the legendary patch, uh, Derp. Uh, Abby's making a patch uh, that makes that if you start with a legendary as your starter, then all the trainers will have legendaries as well. I think it's an amazing uh, balance patch to it. Because it's like, it's not banning you from using them, it just makes the game a little harder, you know? Albeit, there's mons like Dracovish that are basically legendaries. <laughs> and they won't count as a legendary. Okay, and albeit, though, you do have to start with it high level for it to be good. Because you need to get Ficious Rand. To implement multiplayer? That'd be funny. Just had a random thought that probably is impossible, but it would be funny to implement multiplayer where you can screw over the other player as you play. That'd be awesome. Although I don't know how you'd implement it. That'd be sick. Like force a certain gym leader to remove a mon from the party. Oh, we should make like a game like that. That'd be really fun. Like a custom game. Like we have like lifelines where it's like, remove your third Pokemon in your party. But again, I mean, I would love to do it, but it's just not possible while Jordan's not, like, able to stream her playthrough. Like, that's the sort of thing you'd have to see both, uh, both screens for, for sure. Or at least, uh, maybe she'll be able to screen share her screen at some point, and then I could show both on my stream. But that's a very cool idea. I would love to do that at some point. Gotta get that Skype grind going. Okay, to be fair, Skype legit works better than Discord screen share. It does. Make it so everything is level down if you go into level 85. I'm actually not against that. Because, like, you know, what is the early game if you start with a level 85? It's non-existent. It's just a tedious thing to get through. Could be cool to see some challenge race like that, yeah. That sounds like a ton of fun. The Guzzlord. <gasps> ah! <laughs> it's Abby's favorite scream. Oh, dragons are just so good. I also don't even have to worry about focus sashes. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, Guzzlord is dragon. It is, but uh, I'm going for ghost and dragon at the same time because I'm freaking cocky. Oh boy. In the sun? In the sun? No. I can't fish just run things in the sun. Oh no. Okay, I'm higher leveled. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I had a Persona 4 moment. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> if it was the same level, it would have been over. This isn't going to be a Giratina, but hey, who knows?
Oh, hey, shiny Zapdos. Casually. The guz. <laughs> oh, I forgot. By the way, Abby, I thought I'd mention thank you for uh, coming into my Sonic Frontiers stream because literally I was about to die of boredom. I got another hour out of that stream because Abby joined. Was it really that bad? <laughs> oh my god, it was awful. <laughs> like, I really, like, I'm not even, like, trying to exaggerate, I promise. I just, I hated it. And I really wanted to enjoy it, too. Like, I went in with, uh, with a lot of excitement for it. Um, rugged. Also, the only time people are really going to do that is if they're grinding quests. Oh, wait. I'm not really sure if the entering with Monza over level thing is really an issue because it's not really any different from entering and then using all rare candies to hit level 100. And she called you out. No, it's not different. You're right. No, I agree with that. But, like, I think, I don't know. I, I just think maybe in the update, almost all quests should just level you down. Maybe at a certain difficulty. Or maybe on hard trainer set, it should always level you down. You know what I mean? Because, like, you know, I mean, when is there a situation where I don't want to be level 100 if I can be, you know what I mean? Alright, uh, let me do this. Oh, I just realized I can't get any of the Ultra Beats. I need something that's like, really good with a... Uh... I guess I could Dragon Dance, yeah. I need something that's good against Fairies. Damn, so where'd you find this? We were discussing Arceus most of the time. Well, because I swear, a ton of people I heard were comparing it to Arceus. Um, like, it was really fun, but it just looked ugly. But it wasn't fun to play either. <laughs> and to be honest, it was way uglier than Arceus. I'm sorry. Like, by a significant amount. I'm not saying something. Finally found a dragon type. What'd you find, Derp? Although it really depends on how people want to play, though. Because if you're just casually playing, you probably don't care too much. You're right, Abby. Like, I can't fight it, you know? Because, to be fair, we could just not go in with an overlevel mod. It's always the better option to just give all options. You know what I mean? I'm just really excited for the basic bag. That's all. Oh, but with the basic bag, can you still level up your mons to level 100 for certain challenges? I guess that's why you make them randomize it for that extra hard challenge, right? So basically they have to go back to the level cap. Or when you randomize a mon, does it always go back to the level of the starter? Because if that's the case, you could just still enter with level 100. And it's a Drampa. Hey man, Drampa's not too bad. Sort of noise? Drampa's a good early game. I mean, to be fair, out of all the dragon types you could have gotten, that's pretty good. Right? Because most dragons aren't going to get good until, like, you know, 6th or 7th gym. It'll push the level down? Okay. I just think that there are, like, I, I want there to be challenges that, like, you know, force me not to use... Uh, the over leveled stuff but now that I have Jordan on my tail I feel like I have to be broken with it you know what I mean the Draco drop a Draco on your head
All right. I just beat my fourth badge. Where are you? I believe I'm beating the seventh. Yeah, I may as well give up now, chat. <laughs> oh, well. That was fun. <laughs> I just lost. How? I was actually on the eighth, but uh, I got destroyed. That's funny. Were you actually on the eighth badge? Yeah, but I only had one mon because I'm being greedy. <laughs> Revival Herb came in very clutch in a one-mon team. True. Again, I'm not too worried about the race. I, I just like the idea of doing the double monotypes. I think it's more interesting. Uh, let me see. Plus, if we run into Giratina, we could definitely do it. I was actually going to start with Giratina as my starter, but um, unfortunately, that cannot happen. Let me see if I can actually... Yeah, we'll start with Dragon Dance. We'll just do this in the hub. Make this the ultimate starter. There's a wild Salamence. Should I catch five Salamences? Salamences. I mean, you could, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, yeah, but I don't have it caught, so I won't be able to run into it, right, Abby? I've only seen it. That means it doesn't show up in the, in the safari, right? We've been over this so many times, but I still am not 100% sure. <laughs> little gross st Ooh. strat for you catch another mon and enter in doubles mode i thought about that uh but in all honesty late game's just gonna be too hard like yes i get two uh two mons to bring in but doubles is just straight up harder i thought you had caught it no you're good how dare you not know every single mon that i caught Wow. Might just grind gauntlet for future runs. I got you, derp. Hey, as long as you're enjoying the game, that's what matters. <sighs> All right, let's go again. All right, stuff is starting to not die to Fisher's run, and that's worrying me a little bit. Really? Even though you're faster? Well, I've been using Crunch a lot, too. Why would you ever do that? <laughs> because I don't want to waste my Fisher's friends. I'm saving them for the gym. Wait. Also, for some reason, half of the game has mods with Intimidate. So. Why does it not say, uh... Am I tripping? You might have skipped. Open your little thing. Yeah, dude, you're on badge eight. Wait, you oh, skipped I badge. skipped by accident. Never mind, you're right. Yeah. Bobby. No. Yes. Okay. I guess that's why that's there, right? The skip, so that way. You don't even have to do this early game, but like, it's not like you're ever gonna lose in this early game, you know? Here we are. Alright, we're good. Breezy. Here I'm Oh, yeah. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Oh, wait, chili. Let's go. <laughs> the bug. Alright, is this dragon? 
I'm trying to get a Salamon sight. Ooh, I'm jolly I'm, I'm trying to somehow win. Have you ever... Yes, Abby is me. Have you ever thought about after your first run, since it's one to three, and add more gym leaders? Oh, Abby already is adding more gym leaders. If you're in the Emerald Rogue Discord, you would know. She showed off Bugsy in, in one of her things, so that's pretty cool. Like, that may be a thing. <laughs> Maybe a thing in 1.3, yeah. See, I'm caught up on the Rogue Discord. Gen 1. <gasps> I'm so excited for more quests, I really am. What are some more I I more ideas for quests for this game, chat? Let's give Abby more ideas. Because she's already not... She's not overwhelmed enough, right? Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I had an idea for... Oh, shit. Don't tell Grease, I just ran for away from an Axew. For a pseudo only run, but that would be just like the legendary run, so like, uh, it also would be mono dragon pretty much. Pseudos only? Yeah. I mean, hey, again, it's not that bad of an idea, because like, there aren't that many of them, you know? Like, sure, it's not ridiculously difficult, but again, it changes how you play, and that's fun. Damn, this Obama Snow ate that fish's run, holy shit. How are we gonna make this better than Rad Red? Hey, this game already better than Rad Red. What you mean? Oh no. At least that's a concept. I would definitely say so. I ran out of Fisher's friends. Because at the end of the day, Radical Red is just another Dreano game with, uh, with more, uh, with more mods. Uh. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love hacks like that, but, uh, it's certainly not this original. Damn! Look at Shiny Salandit. I think the last time we played, a uh, like a fan-made sort of game that was this original was probably, um, it's Insurgents. Oh, yeah. Well, again, though, I mean, Insurgents is like its own game, right? Um, yeah. And, uh, Uranium, too. Oh yeah, Uranium was another one that was really creative. Uranium was awesome. Although those are fan games, they're not round hacks. There's a big TPH difference. Yeah. Um, different game to Rad, to be fair. I'm just hoping I can get Rogue to have enough variation that it can always be fun to jump in and do a run. Yeah, just like any roguelike, right? Makes sense, makes sense. I should make the runs it's a bit shorter. Uh, I actually think this game is limited a lot by it being a ROM hack. Um, because stuff like, um, you know, people's games crashing and then they lose their whole run. Uh, in a game like Binding of Isaac, it'll auto save to that point you were in the, in, in the run. Um, plus, not to mention the fact that you could always uh, save state. I'm sure a ton of people abuse save states in this game. Um, you can do that? Well, why not, right? It's there. I've never thought about it. Yeah, well... I have never and I'm, I'm that, sure actually. a ton of people do that. That's the thing. Probably. Again, that's why I like streaming this game, because uh, I can complete it and uh, have my pride and not... Uh, get ruined by people thinking that I cheated. Because, hey, it's here. <laughs> the proof is here. The proof is in the pudding. Ow! Alright, we're good. Uh, I wish I could make the runs a bit shorter. But I'm pretty much forcing it to be as fast as Pokemon's can be. Low. Oh, you did a fantastic job, Abby. I mean, just, just the fact that you made leveling up, like, instant, like, that alone is insane to me like there's literally like no grinding you know unless you have the evs on but you can just turn it off so you know connor will you bring back the tiktok lock do you want the tiktok lock to come back math? i want you to know i read it as titty lock um <laughs> i know he meant tiktok lock but i read it as titty lock i think that uh i would have to change the rule set a little bit but yeah like the same idea right like using viewers 
suggested Pokemon and uh, basically only having nine Pokemon for the whole run. I like it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I think if I'm going to do it again, I want to have all the Pokemon pre-set up. Just because I think it makes for, like, lame, a lame stream to just for me to go into PK Hex and, like, edit the Pokemon on stream. Um, like, the game stops, like, dead in its tracks, just so I can put the game in. I mean, the Mon in. Uh, but yes, I would, I'm eventually definitely going to do another rendition of the TikTok vlog. I mean, hell, I created it, right? It's my own mod. I can't do anything crazy. Yeah, I, I, I could imagine. I mean, there's only so much you could do with a ROM hack. But at the same time, I love ROM hacks more than fan games because there's a lot more customize, customizability for the player. And I love speed up so much. Any fan game that does not have a speed up button, I cry. I was so glad when Reborn got a uh, speed up button. I was like, yes. That's one of the only th things that makes me not want to go back to Uranium because Uranium doesn't have a speed up button. Makes the yeah, game a lot slower. It's a fantastic game, don't get me wrong, but uh, I'm just a jaded Pokemon uh, emulator. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that moment when a Mime Jr. walls my level 90 Dragapult. <sighs> Honestly, Emerald Rogue's concept is one of a kind. It absolutely is. I just realized that... Wait, never mind. I'm, never mind, I'm stupid. It is one of a kind. No, that's why I keep wanting to, like, advertise this game. Well, even though it's free, but you know what I mean. Like, it, de it deserves to be up there with more of the great roguelikes. Not even just as a good Pokemon ROM hack, but a good roguelike. A lot of the crashes come from the Emerald Expansion stuff. I've had very few crashes coming from rogue-specific stuff. Vanilla version is super stable at the moment. I'd imagine, yeah. It's unfortunate. Hell, I've had crashes like that when I played Radical Red, too. Uh, it had, like, a very special um, cast form ability. Well, for cast, cast form's regular ability got changed to where... Um, if you're holding one of the weather rocks, it automatically sets that weather, like you have Drizzle, or you have Sandstream, or yada yada, as long as you're holding that weather rock. Such a good change to the ability. Uh, but I'll never forget, I ran into a wild Psyduck, and it had Cloud 9, and that just like completely threw the game out of whack. Because uh, it didn't know what to do, which was a shame. And it uses that same oh, expansions I pack, so it makes sense. I don't remember what game it was we were playing, but I remember it was Emerald. And Connor decided to be a funny guy and try to open one of the secret bases. Oh my god, that was awful. Just died, and he hadn't saved in the To be fair, that was just a randomizer. That was not anything yeah. crazy. But you had like a Dragonite and a bunch of other stuff, and I was just like... Uh, Jordan, you gotta get a better computer! I wanna do Soul Links! <laughs> Imagine Emerald Rogue Soul Link. With, how would that even work? You can just do it in one run. Soul Link, uh, you could just do a run as a Soul Link. You wouldn't even have to, you wouldn't have to Nuzlocke it because it's already. That's true. If one dies. You just have to I do, just you just have to do your first encounter. That's all. Vicious Run Cursed Body. What the hell? I'm going to cry. A uh, Cursed Body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cursed Body from Vicious Run. That's crazy. You got banned by the game. Literally, Gengar said, fuck you. <laughs> Let me use my channel points in-game to ban Fish yeah, right. It's okay, I have a Mega Salamence with Crunch. Preserving money and just being careful so you don't lose mods forever. Uh, damn, I'm really far behind on chat. Uh, by the way, yeah, preserving money is a big part of this game. Uh, and bag space. You know, so Abby, I, I, I texted it in the Rogue Discord, but I guess a lot of people... Uh, were telling me it was the other way around. I actually thought the limited bag space was intentional. Uh, is it really not intentional? It really is just a, it's a, what's it called? Game issue? Uh, Cause I actually think it makes the game better that there's limited bag space. Cause with unlimited items, well, it's like, it, it ruins a lot of the challenge of- uh, Emma really has limited bag space, so I'm assuming you can't really make it unlimited bag space. No, you definitely can. A ton of ROM hacks have. Um, oh. like I just don't notice. A ton of them have. But, um... Damn it. 
But I actually thought it was intentional because I think it makes the difficulty a lot more interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's a legit difficult thing. Preserving what items you think is more useful for the run. Titty lock. Outside, there's going to be a new and improved graveyard. Yeah, looking forward to it. Graveyard is gone in its place. Two separate encounters. Abby and me are friends just because of what she said with the titty lock. Oh, of course. There's and hundreds the of abilities, emoji. so literally multiple of thousands of combos to test. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Uh, if people complain about the crashes, uh, you know, don't think that that's your fault, you know? And what he means by that is... But what I mean by that is you're trash and you should get better. No! <laughs> I'm making a new Kahoot. Go for it. All right, don't worry. Graveyard has been done. You should make, you know what, Poka Abby? You should make a really, 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 really hard challenge. And the only way to unlock unlimited items is by finishing that challenge. Okay, I actually thought about that too. That's a great idea. But like, make it, make it ridiculously hard. Make that the reward for the hardest challenge in the game. <laughs> yeah. It being a- I don't even know if that's possible to implement, but if it is, that's actually a really good reward. Like, put in, like, a baby lock, where you can't overlevel. All babies is definitely, I think, a doable quest. And- and then, that's the reward, is the bigger bag. Wobbuffet only. I'm, a. Uh... Uh, it is sort of intentional. It's a technical limit, but I would like to have the option to increase through any hub NPC, but it's unlikely going to happen anytime soon. So you're never going to make it unlimited, which is, I think, very fair. Like, making an upgrade to, like, upgrade your bag space. Hell, that's what Legends Arceus did. Uh, Arceus specifically has a bag limit because it's part of the gameplay, right? Um... But they let you upgrade the bag space, like like you can in Breath of the Wild, for example. There are some games that benefit from a limited amount of space. Albeit, base Pokemon games is not included in that. Base Pokemon games, I'm so glad they have an unlimited bag space. <laughs> like, that crap is just annoying in regular Pokemon games. Uh, but for a roguelike, I think it makes a lot more sense the way it is right here. That is a mega diancy on my screen. Save games being broken too. Fun Catching fact, I still Pokemon. have not encountered Annabelle, and that scares me. Built different. Please run into her and die. I'm on, like, gym... Like, I'm on gym 12, and I still have not found her. And the time will surely come where you can see my point of view. Any mother slash earthbound fans in the chat? I can't take items because my bag is too full. Arceus doesn't have a technical limit, to be fair. Yeah, no, I, it's not a technical limit. It, it's intentional. It could just make you have an unlimited bag space, but for poor old GBA games, there's not a lot of spare bites to throw around. Well, yeah, I know. Obviously, back then, Pokemon games did have a technical limit. Uh, that's obvious, but uh, I'm saying, like, for example, RCS was intentional to have, uh, limited bag space, because it makes better sense for the gameplay, because otherwise there'd be no reason to leave the area. Does, does Giratina have its own, uh, legendary area? Oh, hey, look, it's Jordan's no. favorite legendary. I'm gonna kill it. I just killed a man if you are you happy? I'm so sad. Um, I'm gonna go down the legendary route. Just how, cause. how obscure you guys want the new Kahoot to be? I love a good obscure Kahoot. As long as it's not something stupid like what Pokedex number is uh far fetched. Which I actually do know it's 83. <laughs> Oh, 
It depends on how obscure you're talking. Like, don't make it like, what level does this mon learn this? Like, Beach, what the frick? Here's a good question. Can Torchic learn Rock Slide through TM? There you go. Yes or no question. You could guess it. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's like, it's not like you're just guessing from the dark. You're not guessing level 52, level 54, level 56. That's not what I wanted to do. Manaphy is great. Manaphy is great, actually. I used to use it a lot in, uh, in competitive. One of the very few legendaries that can learn Tail Glow. Oh, hi Xerneas. Bye Xerneas. Cried so hard at Temple of the Sea, yeah. I think I... I don't remember that movie as well as I should, though, to be fair. Good morning, Mel. How you doing? More rogue races. I can't get away from this freaking game. Do you have the PC Game Pass? What are you talking about? Jordan, do you know what the PC Game Pass uh, Game Pass is? Because I'm stupid. I do not know. Obscure question for the next Gahoo. What is Abby's least favorite mon? Is it Why Not? <laughs> you love Wobbuffet, but not Why Not. It's a trick question. There are none. Oh, whatever. Get the frick out of here. Everybody has a least favorite. Xbox Game Pass, for, but for PC? I do not have that. What, what kind of games can you get from that? Oh, hey, I found an Ontario. Derp nice. Stay, oh, shoot, I threw. Well. Wow. I'm really glad that I PP maxed my freaking dragon darts because I would be struggling. You can get a little known racing game, something something horizon. Oh yeah, did you know that Poka Abbey actually worked on, like with the team that made Forza, Forza Horizon? No shot. Should be an actual game developer. If only there was no such thing as a uh, copyright, then she could just make an, a legitimate Pokemon roguelike. That'd be awesome. She could just make this into her own game. I just realized that Groudon can have Stone Edge. It can. It actually commonly runs it. Yeah, um, I know. And I had my Salamence out. They have a lot of really good games on there. Dicey Dungeons, Tunic, Lunky, Hollow Knight, Bug Snacks. Uh, one of my favorites, Phantom Abyss, and a bunch of the non-indie big titles. Hmm. Maybe I should get it. A few of those games I have been interested in. Although I already have half of those, to be fair. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I'm on the last champion right now, and yep. I still have not countered Annabelle yet. If you get Annabelle as your champion, it's over. It's over because I only have a Dracovish and a Salamence, and that's it. So I'd either I'd, I'd you have to you didn't catch multiple Salamence. No, I didn't. Before. I'd have to pray that I shot the into her entire team. It's Got not. It. It's Tucker. Shut up. Tucker. Ah, oh, you won. GG. Oh, Jordan won. Who would have guessed? God, I wish I could make Rogue into its own thing. Yeah. Like honestly, I mean, you clearly have the talent for it. Uh, but, you know, copyright is uh, a thing, unfortunately. Can't sell a oh. game that uh, is oh. another IP. And, you know, even though you could obviously make your own roguelike with its own mechanics, um, I mean, it could never be Pokemon, right? And the biggest reason why this game is uh, as awesome as it is is because it uh, it's Pokemon. <laughs> 
I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd definitely try a different roguelike that you made, but, uh... It, it could never be Pokemon, to be fair. You could make any game, and it could be number one in the entire world, but it will not be Emerald Road. It's true, though. Like, unironically, it could never. You cannot make a legit game that is Emerald Rogue, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I also know that Pokemon Company would never make this as a spin-off game, too. Like, they never would. No, but it'd be really, it'd be really cool. <laughs> oh, it would be awesome, but they never would. Kind of do. I did here. Uh, what else do you work on or for? Is it really a big project? I've done more on there, and a lot of really good ones. It's nice for one-off story games and trying out games you don't really know if you'd like. I'll have to check it out. It's a good idea. I still have to do uh, my first Steel Soul run in Hollow Knight. I have to. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna end up streaming that at some point. Who would have guessed with Ficious Ren Dracovish for real? Who would have guessed that Jordan would win with literally the most broken non-legendary Pokemon in the game? Uh, only downside is that if you cancel your subscription, then you lose access and game cycle on and off. Oh. With Fakemon style stuff, it loses a lot of the charm. Oh, definitely. I mean, again, like, I'm sure the game itself would be just as good. M maybe even better, but... Again, you know, the charm of it is such a big part of it. Connor, how come you have over 100 hours in Terraria? I, I played a lot um, with Donnie growing up. I still have the same Steam account from when I was younger. Didn't really lose the password or nothing. Contact Game Freak Abby. <laughs> ah, if only. They, they wouldn't even agree. Abby. That's the um, worst part. I, I I have a proposition, Poke Abby. Um, cancel the entirety of one one point three, and just make a single update where you remove the entire outro of Emerald, please and thank you. <laughs> it is annoying, isn't it? Like when you beat the game and you have to go throughout the whole. Oh credits. my god! I have to watch it every time. Is there any way to implement just a way to skip the the end credits, Abby? And it's really, it's, it was cool the first time, because I was like, right. oh, look at all the Pokemon. Oh, look at all the Pokemon I got, now but now I just don't care. I've won so many runs. Look at that, look at that one Pokemon I caught 15 runs ago. <laughs> yeah, that's true, because he uses the whole Pokedex, not even your your same run. It has been shrunk down. Oh my god, I love you, Abby. I will forever play your game. Wow, 100 SMH my head. If I contract, true, Abby. If I contract Game Freak, they would shut Rogue down. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Good point. Uh, it's so annoying. Delete it and anything that has to do with it right now. Yeah, how does it feel that a game can, like, you don't want your game to get too popular, otherwise it'll get shut down? That is true, actually. Yeah, who would have guessed he'd win with an Ubermon? I'm sure, I'm sure that's not stressful at all. You mean she? All. But yeah. Am I late? Grease, you are late. I actually ran away from an Axie. I mean, what? I didn't say anything. Uh, what? You contribute greatly to your big title and don't make any money off of it and it has no harm on us. How dare you? 20 million fine. True. I mean, I could almost see the legal dispute if she's, like, making money off of it, but no, she's doing it as a passion yeah. project. Like, exactly. like, what's the big deal, you know? Be like, oh my god, you made a game based off of our game that's more successful than any game that we've released in the past few years. Shut right, it down. Well, I don't know now. if it's ever going to be more successful than a legit Pokemon game, but that'd be cool. But I will say now, I'd rather play Emerald Rogue oh, than definitely. play BDSP. It doesn't matter how good a game is, though. It, it matters about how well it's advertised. I'd rather play Pokemon Rogue. I'd rather play anything over like, BDSP, to be fair. I'd rather play anything game. over BDSP. I think the only game that would maybe be like you have a choice between playing Emerald Rogue or this Pokemon game would maybe be like anything before 5th gen. Everything else need not exist. Maybe Ultra Sun and Moon and Sun and Moon. Those are cool. But 6th gen, 8th gen, and anything that has to do with them, I'm good. I'd rather play a Pokemon Rogue. 
I talked about this on my TikTok, but honestly, like, I don't think any of the Pokemon games are necessarily that amazing on replay. I mean, they're always fun to play for the first time. But like, unless yeah. I'm unless I'm doing a Nuzlocke, I can't actually replay Heart Gold Soul Silver anymore. I used to when I was a kid. I actually replayed Heart Gold Soul Silver like four times, probably more than that actually, because I remember no, I'd always I don't, trade. I don't, know, I don't know how my brother has done it, but he has replayed Sword and Shield minimum twenty times, and I'm just sitting here like, how? I for kids, it. for kids, they are amazing replayable games, because like even though they're very easy, um, there's still 800 different party members to choose from. Name an RPG that has 800 party members, you know? Uh, by the way, you won, right? Yeah. Uh, did you already do Ghost? Yeah. Alright, fine. I'll just give you the win. A sigh. Who would have guessed? Jordan with 100% votes. Complete prediction. There you go. Oh, Mel, if you're still here, by the way, I made a Spelunky 2 video on my TikTok if you want to check it out. You can uh, judge my, uh, you can judge my thoughts on it. It reached number 10 on my top 50. Um, I don't even know what... Are you holding Nobody anything? Knows. You're holding it. Like, I like the... Oh no, Abby. All right. All right. I think we might have to to change uh to change your thoughts. What? <laughs> she said that she likes BDSP. <laughs> oh boy. I hated BDSP. I couldn't. I couldn't. Not as good as platinum. I mean, obviously, but that's the <laughs> issue. <laughs> I liked it the first time I played through it, and now I couldn't. Well, actually, I couldn't even I've, beat it. It was so such a drag. I've been wanting to play through it again because I figured out that there was an update apparently recently where they added Wonder Trade. So I would like to play the game as a Wonder Lock. Yeah, but maybe. It's such an easy. It's such an easy game. It's not even just that. Like it's just, it's ugly. Uh, it doesn't have anything renovating from the original. Besides, I guess, the underground. Um, but I'll say it again. The underground was both buffed and nerfed. It was buffed in single player. It was nerfed in multiplayer. Like, why? Why does why is something not at least the same, you know? The fact there's no infinite TMs. I can't even. You're right, Gamaf. Like, why? What was the point? Although, I do agree. But now I really struggle. Yeah, like, unless I'm doing a Nuzlocke or a ROM hack, I, I can't replay through even the older games. Like, I feel like it really was just because I was a kid. And when you're a kid, you know, you can't just buy whatever games you want, right? You have to replay the games that your parents got you and just play them over and over again. And Pokemon was perfect for that, I will say. Uh, I'm not going to fight that. I replayed all these older Pokemon games so many times. But, I mean, I can tell you right now, I've played Sword and Shield once, and I never turned that game on ever again since I beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Well, I battled a little bit competitively, but that was it. I replayed it one time because my little brother wanted to do a Soul Link. And it was... I love Soul Links, don't get me wrong, but dear God. It was tough to get through. Because mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, I don't want to do this. It's also slow on main console, too, because you don't have speed up. Pokemon really benefits yeah, yeah. from speed up. Am I hearing Space Run melt? Uh, we could we could do space run later on if you're still down, but right now I'm I'm in the rogue grind. Yeah, I got my points back. <laughs> Are you the only one that voted, Abby? Abby, what do you like about BDSP? Let's have a let's have an in-depth conversation about a trash game. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I did not like Legends of Arceus. I will admit it's a good game. I will admit it's a good game, but I it's just not the game. Like, as I long as like as long as you don't say that it's a bad video game. No, no, no. It's that's not fine. a bad game. If you don't if you don't, don't like it, it is what it is. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, like 
um, the Giratina fight in the end, that was amazing. That had me, you know, jaw dropped the entire time. You didn't do that, did you? I did. I did it. Uh, I played through the entire story. I didn't do like the all the. I didn't finish all the quests. I finished most of them. But like that final Giratina fight with Volo and all that, that was like a really cool fight. Not gonna lie. And I struggled through that fight. Like. You know, I, that was not a kid's fight, you know, like uh, <laughs> how we usually see with Pokemon. But yep. I just didn't like the game because it's just my opinion. How but, dare you have an opinion? How dare you have an opinion? But like Sword and Shield, even even the first time I played through it, I was just like, I don't like this game. <laughs> when I like, played it for the first time, I, I enjoyed Sword, enough, Sword and Shield enough to beat it. But when I was playing BDSP the entire time since I opened it, I was just slogging through it. There was not a single point where I enjoyed the game. Like, yeah. I at least enjoyed some concepts of Sword and Shield. You yeah. know, like... The, the game that did that for me, because with Legends of Arceus, I... I don't like it, but I understand why people love it. Like, 100%. Now, Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, I hate that game, and I don't understand how anyone can love that game, aside from the fact that it's Gen 1. Um, my sister really I likes that game. I, the thing with it, that your sister is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> when I was ranking that game, actually on my TikTok, because uh, most people know I, I did a ranking of all the. Oh my god, I did a ranking of all the Pokemon games over there. Um, I might lose here. I'm out. I'd rather play BDSP 50 times over playing Shout Let's Go Phantom Force going and through Pikachu okay. Um, No, I hate Let's Go, but Let's Go, unlike BDSP, the thing is with Let's Go, I can tell it's a good video game. I just hate it from a conceptual standpoint because they took out mechanics, but it looks pretty. It actually legitimately is the prettiest Pokemon game we've ever gotten. Like, you can't yeah, really debate that. It is pretty. It looks pretty. But I just... I know, I don't like it either. I It's the one Pokemon game I didn't even buy. But looking at it from the outside, I get it. Right? I get it. It's a casual game for casual players. Um, I never even thought it was for casual players. I just thought, this is a kid's game. It is. It's a baby's game. Um, it's a baby's game. This is, this is the game you play when you want to get It's for toddlers. As... <laughs> yeah. But, again, I can't say it's a bad video game. I think... I would even argue that it's a bad Pokemon game. Because it takes away mechanics instead of adding. Yeah. But it's not a bad game. It, it's an okay baby game. <laughs> but BDSP is just a bad game. I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, at least I was able to play through. I, well, I didn't even buy... Because okay, the thing is, right, like, I can, BDSP is a game I can see myself playing. I can never see myself playing Let's Go, but I can see that Let's Go are good games, just not for me. I don't know. But BDSP are just such bad games in the style of Pokemon that I like that I couldn't even do it. So it's like my opinion on... Legends is like your opinion about Let's Go, and then my opinion about Let's Go is your opinion on BDSP. I guess so, yeah. yeah. But I, I, it's just like BDSP is literally a flawed video game. Like I don't, I do not see any point to where that game yeah, but is a good video game. They removed mechanics. They did remove mechanics. What do you mean? There's no unlimited TMs anymore. There's, um. I mean, you could argue that there's less Pokemon. Well, there is. Yeah, but... Uh, every other remake before that added all the Pokemon from previous generations. Now, I know that Sword and Shield already gutted the Pokedex, but, I mean, if, if we're talking mechanics that were from previous titles, there you go. Uh, there's no Battle Frontier. L listen, I'm going to compare it to Platinum, because it should be. But no, it's Diamond and Pearl. No, Beach. <laughs> Heart Gold and Soul Silver took from... Heart Gold Soul Silver took from Platinum. Heart Gold Soul Silver has the Battle Frontier. There was no reason for them to add it there. 
But no, they wanted to make well, a better I, video game. I definitely think if they were going to remake 4th Gen, they should have remade Platinum. I don't, I don't deny that. But... No, they don't have to do that. It could still be named Diamond and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Just have Platinum content. Every other remake did that. Oros had the Delta episode. They didn't have to have that. <laughs> there was no reason to add that because it's not in Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> right? Yes. So what did BDSP add that was so exciting? I think, okay, I also think, and I understand that you're saying that it's a bad game and all that stuff. It is. But I also think people's expectations for the BD, the uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes were so fucking high. <laughs> that well, that's true. That's stuff. true. No matter what, people are going to be disappointed. But, yeah. okay, but let me put it this way. Name one person that's disappointed with Harko Till Silver. That's all I'm going to say. In, like, name one person that's disappointed in the fact that it's a remake, right? Because, you know, there's issues with Johto, right? I'm not going to deny that. But it is a perfect remake of a bad game. That's the way I see it. Like, mm -hmm. they enhanced it. That's all they did. They enhanced the game. And I'm not going to fault the game for being based off of, like, level cur bad level curves and a bad Pokedex. Because, you know, that's from the original game. And a lot of people still have nostalgia for the Gen 2 decks. Hold on, let me catch up on chat before I continue. I was <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just escape Roxanne 4th Gym. Just a mute for 7 HP. Removing all traces from code. <laughs> Don't remove Dracovish. <laughs> it's not a great game, but I still enjoyed it. Uh, I like the art style. I hate the art style. But I mean, that's subjective, of course. I'll always, to be fair, I'm one of the minority that thinks Pokemon always look best in Gen 5. Like, pixel art always will look better than the 3D models. I think they have way more personality. The chibis are strange, but kind of cute. I agree that they're kind of cute, but it, that's not really the issue I have with it. I think the 3D models, even in battles, look really just cheap and ugly. Like, I can tell you right now, I think Oros looks like a better game. And it came out how many years ago? A lot. On the 3DS. <laughs> Compared to the Nintendo Switch HD console. Not gonna lie, those kids crying over the E4 being EV trained competitively and losing over and over sounds like a scale issue. L plus ratio, eight year olds. Um, I'm glad that they made the E4 difficult, but it'll always be a more difficult in quotations because it's not. In my opinion, Platinum E4 is still harder because they forced the friendship mechanic in BDSP. Because, like, okay, well, say what you want about harder, but if I can theoretically win a game by spamming A and doing nothing else, that's easier. I can theoretically just spam A and always have my Pokemon live on 1 HP because it loves me. Is that hard? No. <laughs> you know, I had a Haunchcrow in my team for the amount of time that I played it. It has super luck, right? Well, when you're at max friendship in that game, your crit, your crit ratio gets doubled. So when you stack your doubled crit ratio on top of super luck, every single hit is a crit. Every single one, no matter what, no matter what move you use. That's just bad game balance. Oh, I will say that the friendship thing is stupid. The fact that it's like you could nuzzle. Why game, is it forced? Like, oh, I don't I get it. Because I love you. It's like no. I just don't I get why it's forced. I'm not against the mechanic. It was fine in X and Y and Sun and Moon, but why is it forced? I don't get it. What was the point in doing that? I'm not against the mechanic, again. It's just, why is it forced? I, you know, Nuzlockers of that game are forced to use, like, bitter items so they can lower their friendship just so it doesn't activate. You know how stupid that sounds? I need to lower my friendship in order for the game not to hold my hand. And it's like, what if, what if you have a Pokemon that evolves by friendship, though? For real. Oh, my God. So stupid. Uh, to be fair, I think uh, it was the most surprising E4 of any main series game. That's true, but I still think Ultras and Ultra Moon was harder. Yo, shout out to Sonic R, though. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't even make it to the E4, so I can't talk too much about it. I watch a playthrough of it. But no matter what, my point still stands. You can literally just friendship through it. Um, 100%. 
Dexter not... asked me what mind types I haven't done yet, and I'm not exactly sure because I'm in the middle of one right now. Mm -hmm. Um, but I will let you know once I finish this run, Derpster. Also, I'm not- I'm never gonna be one of those guys that's against the OP share. Um, I think that's a stupid complaint. As long as the game is built around experience sharing between all the mons, it's fine. But the original game was not built around it, so, you know, you're always overleveled. Um, assuming you're fighting all the trainers. Um, Sword and Shield was balanced around the OP share, and to be honest, I was never overleveled in Sword and Shield. I think that's one of the reasons why it was a fun playthrough. I never had to grind. I was always on par. Yeah. Uh, that was good, you know? It, and, and I admit, yes, it should be toggleable. Like, you should be able to turn it off, but, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, right? It, as long as the game is balanced around it. I think one of my favorite things that Sword and Shield had was the fact that you can... There's an option that's cutscenes mm -hmm. and it skips a lot of cutscenes it makes it a lot shorter but like not short enough yeah a lot of the longer cutscenes are still in there all right hold on uh because the main gyms were easy and then a sudden difficulty jump at the e4 from nowhere yeah that's true i did notice some of the e4 members had like different items and stuff uh like candace had like a fire berry on her obama snow or something that was pretty cool, but either way. Yo, found a dragon type, Gibble. Huge, good job. That's Please, a good dragon yo. type. Probably can't today, TBH. Oh, you're all good now. Yo, I found a dragon type, happy to math. <laughs> hmm, yes. I just like the faithfulness of it. It felt like a love letter. It felt like a, it felt like a hate letter to me. You know what it felt like? It felt like they were doing it because they had to. Like, a love letter is heart, gold, soul, silver. All right, I'll say it again. Like... If it was a love letter, they'd take from all of Gen 4. And even from other games. You know, Heart Cold Soul Silver had references to Gen 3, uh, to Gen 4. Uh, and they added on to Kanto. So there were some more Gen 1 references. Ain't for that DSP. Oh, shoot. My whole entire argument might have been uh, hindered by bad stream quality. Either way, there was yeah. a lot more content in Heart Cold Soul Silver. Um, my name is Skyler, Skyler White. Yo. Are you finally going to finish Delta Rune? I will uh, when I feel like it, Grease. I will eventually. Gen 1 games. <laughs> if they had more con creative control, I'm sure they would have adapted Platinum. Uh, but given the studio... Well, yeah, that's exactly what I just said. It felt like they made it because they had to. It's not a love letter. It's the opposite of a love letter. It felt like they were pushed down their throats to make it as similar to Diamond and Pearl as they possibly could. Because, like, okay. Here's one of the... Okay, it's a small thing. But it's the fact of how stupid it is that I hate it so much. Why on earth is... Did they keep the one button for the poke etch from Diamond and Pearl instead of the two options of buttons for the poke etch? Why? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. That is the dumbest. Like, what's the logic behind that, right? Because you ought to be faithful to Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl only had one button. So you shouldn't be able to scroll back between channels on the poke edge. What? I could even get to a certain idea that you want to get rid of unlimited TMs. Maybe for game balance. Fine. I'll get behind that idea. But why? Just for convenience, they want to inconvenience you. What is the point? Oh my god, that that's something that really pisses me off. Why? It also feels like they couldn't. Like, they weren't even allowed to look at Platinum. Like, that feels like something they intentionally uh, didn't copy from Platinum. Just because. If you responded to that last message, an ad came on, so I didn't hear anything well. <laughs> You're all good. They took out items. Gen 5 is the most pretty Pokemon game. I agree. Good math. Oh my god, is that how far behind I am? I'm so sorry, Chad. I'm such a bad streamer. <laughs> Agreed. Hey, Jordan, what monotype haven't you done? BDSP was just Diamond and Pearl remake. Nothing more, nothing less. Which is why I enjoyed them. Because I didn't expect them to be anything more. I didn't expect them to be anything more either, to be honest. After that, Oras. That is the 
that's the opinion that I wish I would have gone into BDSP because, but only because I had seen so many people freaking out about Gen 4 remakes and they better be good and they better live up to the hype and all this stuff. Then my expectations were set up really high. So then when I played it, I was kind of disappointed in it. But at the same time, I also went in sort of like, okay, keep in mind that it's still a kid's game, you know? Let me put it this way. I think Diamond and Pearl are better games than BDSP. <laughs> Well, I just also hate Diamond and Pearl in general. Like, least favorite Pokemon game is Diamond and Pearl. But... But, like... I wouldn't say that I like SP more than Diamond and Pearl. I... Like, the thing is, is that... You know... It, like, there is very little that BDSP added to the point where... I could just play Diamond and Pearl and have almost the exact same experience. And the fact that this game came out how many years ago? How many years ago did Diamond and Pearl come out? Like, 15, 20? Maybe not that much. I'm, I'm over-exaggerating. It's like 12 years or something. Either way. Um, it came out that long ago, and the game is almost the exact same. And I still argue that Diamond and Pearl looks better because pixel art looks better than the ugly 3D models. But they're chibi. Um, no, I'm not even saying the, uh, the overworld. I'm saying even the 3D models in battle look ugly. That's not chibi. They just, they just don't look good. Oh, because they used the 6th gen models, didn't they? No, they did. Well, they literally down res them for some reason. Hmm. Uh, I mean, look at Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and then look at BDSP, you know? You know what else? BDSP on launch was far glitchier than Diamond and Pearl. For why? Makes it objectively a worse video game. They didn't give Poketch one more button. I'm so glad you said that, Grease. I assume you said this before I went on a rant for it. Opinion dis disrobed. Oras removed the Battle Frontier, to be fair, so not the best example. Well, I know, that's what I'm saying. Oras started it. Oras started being faithful remakes, but... I still argue that Emerald is a better remake. I mean, sorry. I still argue Emerald is the best Gen 3 experience. But I can see the argument for Oros, you know? Like, on my tier list, I put Oros literally right next to Emerald. Like, to the left. Meaning it's like one spot lower. Um, But I respect what they did. At least they tried something different, you know? It felt like a different experience. Whereas BDSP felt like just straight up worse experience. Oras was different from Emerald. BDSP was just straight up worse than Platinum. Like, I can't just straight up say Oras is worse than, than Emerald. Because there's a lot of things it has that Emerald doesn't have. Like, flying on Latios in the overworld is super cool. Um, it was the first game that introduced catching all the legendaries. Uh, the Delta episode is really cool. Uh, the new Mega Evolution plotline is low-key interesting um it's different right i can't say it's better i can't say it's worse it's different at least it makes her its own game freaking bdsp is a shell of a worse video game of a game that they already made <laughs> game freak skipping gen 5 remakes and just jump into gen 6 because they hate gen 5 true gamaf i'm really worried for gen 5 remakes because i'm worried they're not gonna remake I'm worried they're not going to remake Black 2, White 2. I think it'll just be Black and White, which is really unfortunate. Well, I'm sure it will, but I'm just scared because I know that it's going to be the same thing because Gen 5 was so good. Like, originally, now people are going to be like, well, the remakes are going to be so much better, right? And I just don't think it works. To... Like, say what you want about the chibi and if you like the chibi. But tell me right now when you go up to that distortion world or whatever the frick, the spear pillar... That crap don't look stupid when Team Galactic Boss runs up. By the way, they still call him Boss the whole game until you battle Cyrus. I'm just saying, that's so stupid. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, no, it just looks silly. It just looks silly. Like, and in Gen 5, it'll be even worse. Like, it has an actual, like, serious plot line to an extent. I mean, it's still a Pokemon game, but it's still somewhat serious compared to the other Pokemon games. It'll just, it won't fit the mood of the game. 
again, like, if they just went back to pixel art, I mean, games do that, you know? Games do go back to their pixel art. It's not impossible, but it, I think it would look way better. I'm gonna say I right now. I don't think they're gonna make a Gen 5 remake for a really long time. No, they won't. I mean, it's not gonna come out until I after the next generation comes out. Yeah. Um. Heart Gold Soul Silver are the best remakes, yeah. I'm not gonna say Heart Gold Soul Silver are the best Pokemon games, because they're based off of a relatively bad Pokemon game, but they're the perfect remake. They absolutely are. I mean, when I see a remake, Heart Gold Soul Silver is the best possible remake. It's literally perfect. They add and they don't subtract a single thing. Name one thing Heart Gold Soul Silver subtracted. They even added crystal events in the game. I mean, there wasn't much, albeit, but they added a whole ass Suicune event just to emulate crystal. That's cool. To another level. Take out the, uh, the special physical split. Could you imagine if they took out the physical special split? <laughs> they could have made BDSP and Sword and Shield style with Dynamax or stuff, but no. I, I'm, I mean, to an extent, I'm glad they didn't add Dynamax into the game because it just would have been stupid. Um, but I mean, honestly, there's a part of me that probably would have had more fun with the game if they did that, honestly. Because at least it would have been different, like Oros was with Mega Evolution, right? At least Oros was different. BDSP just felt awful. <laughs> at least it would have been something new. <laughs> I'm not drinking the same dog water as I did 10 years ago. <laughs> Whereas I didn't like Oros TBH. I'm not the biggest fan of Oros, honestly. I didn't even, ironically enough, I didn't finish Oros on my first playthrough either. Um, but I could respect Oros, even though I, I couldn't get into it because the OP share kind of broke the game for me because it wasn't balanced around the game at all. I was like 20 levels above everything. I was on like the gym six. I ended up replaying the game through a Drano ROM hack. Uh, what's it called? Omega Ruby? No, that's the regular game. <laughs> Rising Ruby and uh, Sinking Sapphire. That and that was a great way to technically first experience the latter half of the game. Because with some balancing, I could see the effort that they put into that game. BDSP way more than Oros. I mean, hey, if you enjoyed it more, then more power to you. But, uh, oh my god. You may get sent to death row because of that comment. <laughs> I was going to say the irony of that was funny, lol. <laughs> because all we've been watching was spamming A, lol. Oh, true. Imagine having an opinion on the internet. True. Imagine having an opinion. You need to dip for a bit, BRB. Aw, I'll see you later, Abby. I was having a fun time, uh... What's it called? Ragging. <laughs> what did Jordan say? I don't know, what did you say, Jordan? <laughs> I'm sure you remember. Jordan, you still here? Jordan? Hello? She's gone. What minus type haven't you done? I haven't done a few, I'll, I'll open it up in a second. Hold up, who said BDSP was better than Oras? <laughs> Oras has Kyogre as box legendary, instant win, say no more, true. Thoughts on Gen 5 only run? There isn't a quest for it, but apparently there will be a quest for doing all the generations. Abby already said that, so that's really cool. Everything about Gen 5 is great, yeah. To be fair, if they copy... That's the good thing about Gen 5, though, I will say. Since there isn't a third game for Gen 5, the worst they could do is just not remake Black 2, White 2. And Black and White are still good games, you know? So, like... I'm not going to be too upset if they give the BDSP the treatment to Gen 5. Because, like, honestly, in terms of just remaking Black and White, I don't see how they could mess it up, right? Besides making the art style ugly, which I'm already ready for. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that it could be ruined, right? Because there's not a better experience for Black and White 1. Black and White 1 will always be its own experience. Uh, Black 2, White 2, on the other hand, I just don't think they'll remake, which kind of stinks, but at least Black and White 1 won't be ruined.
Um, if Gen 5 has a thousand fans, I'm one of them. If Gen 5 has 10 fans, I'm also one of them. If Gen 5 has one fan, I'm that fan. If Gen 5 has no fan, then I'm no more. If the world was against Gen 5, I'm against the world. They were actually great, uh, Gamaf, you're right. I'll never forget, when Gen 5 came out, everybody hated that game. If Gen 5, uh, but I always loved Gen 5. I was always a big fan. If Gen 5 has one fan, it's me and Gamaf fused together, true. It looks like hell. Stupid. Like, bro, Gen 5 Remake has to be the best, or I'm gonna just cry. Just make it good. What monument should I do? I don't know, rock? Sure. Okay, lol. Naming theme? Uh, all... Pokemon must be based on Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> That's the theme. Rock out. I think I'm actually going to lose here because I keep on trying to uh, do this without anything. Finally, kept on chat. Good job. <laughs> Did y'all stop chatting just so I could catch up? That's big brain. Oh, you're kidding me. I only got one. All right, we Phantom Force for the extra leftovers turn. The strats. Oh, <gasps> Grease, it's your favorite Pokemon. It's dead. Uh-oh. Let's go! Do you think I can finish two mono-type runs before you... Where did you go? I My mom was calling me. <laughs> You just disappeared and instantly you're just like, do you think that I could be? <laughs> My ADHD is so hard. I tuned out for like 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, oh. oh my God. Jesus, that took me forever to catch up back on chat. Um, What was I trying to ask Jordan? I forget. Why is Dragon Ball so fast, WTF? It's a fast mod. I'm also two levels above that, Noivern. Everything might it's a Dwayne. That's a good idea. Black Adam. Like, for example, Dragapult, Dragawain, the Rock Johnson. <laughs> Dragawain. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna lose this run. Uh, it was fun while it lasted. But you know what? Yeah, my, mom called, my mom called me to her room because we're both hungry, which means that we're probably gonna go somewhere to get food. What the fudge? Don't you, yeah, do you not, do you not like, uh, hearing me rant about Pokemon? No, I, I enjoy the conversation, but, like, I'm very hungry. I know, yeah, you're good. I'm just messing around. Uh, I might leave for, like, a few minutes. Like, maybe 10, 15 minutes, just because she wants to go to Subway. You're all good. Ooh. What would you say, okay, so I don't think, I, as far as I know, I don't think you eat fast food that often. Um... But what would you say is your favorite fast food place? And chat, you can respond to. Poka Abby, you might respond someplace that we don't know, um, because Europe. Um, but you know what? You can be part of it too, I guess. She actually, uh, she said that she had to dip for a little bit. I think she was too scared of me. Uh, she, I think she was too scared of me yelling about stupid kids games. <laughs> so anyways. Later, man, or Mr. Man, or what would, what would you say is your favorite, like, fast food? Like, if you want, like, quick food, you know, you don't feel like cooking today. That never happens. I'm too much Andrea of a cheapskate. Feel like cooking today. It doesn't matter. I will never leave my house to get fast food. The only time I'll ever go out to get fast food is, like, if I'm already out and... I, I'm like passing it. I'm never gonna go out of my apartment yeah. just to drive somewhere. Well, Cause that's not fast food. Have... That's lazy food. Yeah. Yeah, I think we actually had this conversation a while ago. We were talking about how like gas would cost more than like going to like- Not even that. Fast, fast food, food is fun. way more expensive than cooking. Like way more, yeah. like triple the price. Oh, 100%. Anyways, there's there's my fast food rant. Um, probably Taco Bell. Really? Well, it didn't used to be. But honestly, I like their crunch wraps. Um, I like... Wow, crunch fire. <laughs> and I love their chalupas. Uh, it's just good. I don't know. It, it's very okay. cheap. Like, I can tell that it's cheap. But, like... Yeah. I just like how it tastes, all right? Sometimes you the just want some... Uh, sometimes you just want some trash. 
they they're called Taco Bell. They should be called Chalupa Bell because like their chalupas are so good. Yeah, whatever shell they use for the chalupas, fire. I don't even know. It's just flames. Uh, just, <laughs> it's, it's really good. So good. I don't know. Uh, are you like, winning? I never thought that I would get anything chicken related at Taco Bell, but like I tried the chalupa randomly one day and I was like, oh it's my good. god, this is my. I love it. Um, by the way, Mel, uh, I'm trying to win, but, uh, I very well might not, honestly. But anyways, my favorite would probably be Wendy's. Their fries are always really good. All right, we gotta buy, uh, the freaking X items. The only way we're gonna win this run is through more drugs, you already can know. What badge are you on? Um, nine. Or, ten. Yeah, see, I was saying, can you finish your run before I finish mine? And you probably would, honestly. Uh, Grease says Taco Bell is kind of mid, but that's my opinion about every bit American fast food place. To be fair, I bet Taco Bell True. is very different depending on where you're from. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, hopefully you win before my, uh, my Uber Eats gets here, not the four ads. I'm going to try to get there. Don't worry, Mel. We just got through a huge Pokemon rant about how trash BDSP is. <laughs> or at least I got through a huge rant and everybody just sits there like, oh, this guy not, again. Not <laughs> God damn. Does he ever shut up? <laughs> Talk about Emerald Rogue. For real? Well, okay. I already talked plenty about Emerald Rogue, to be fair. Uh, all right, let's go lose the run now. Oh, ghost. Well, GG. Okay, Runerigus might not be able to kill me. This thing's physical, right? Uh, I believe so, yes. Don't quote me on that, though. If you die, it's not my fault. It is. Runerigus. Do you still only have one Pokemon? Yeah. Dragapult the whole way, baby. Uh, It is... A physical attacker, yeah. Never had Wendy's as well. I used to love Wendy's when I was a kid because they had one dollar chicken sandwiches. Um, Melo, you're, Melo, you're from Scotland. That's awesome. But honestly, as I grew up, I started not liking it. Amnesia, yo. Spadef, just in case. Uh, we should be fine. X defense. Uh, X spadef. Uh, well, you know what? If I was going to win my water mono run with Fish's friend Dracovish, I guess a Palkia works too. For real. Oh, he switched. He's trash. Bye, oh, Gengar. Man. Wait. What a bitch. Oh, shoot. He just banned my dragon darts. Okay, that's fine. I can just Phantom Force. There we go. That was easy. Ah, shoot. Did you finish your run? Uh, well, I, I got the 10th badge. <laughs> Didn't I just oh. say I was at 9? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you did. No Wendy's in Scotland? No, you're from Scotland. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said! <laughs> Everyone was like, oh, oh, it's going to make your butt a nuke. But it was just nothing. Yeah, no, that... Honestly, I don't get why people always say that. Uh, I usually have much more farts when I make my own beans. I'm going to... All right, I don't need to know about this. So I'm going to go get Subway. And I will be back in about 15 minutes. She you really she just, she really just ran up and said, girls don't fart. We don't. Also, gamer girls don't exist. So. Gamer girls don't <laughs> exist. You're right. Get the frick out of here. Right. Go, go Actually, not exist. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go not exist. <laughs> Later, nerd. Later. Because your mom. True. Why am I getting all the worst Elite Four members right now? Okay. Evolt all special, right? I'm not tripping. All right, let's uh expedef. Foul play. It's over. Watch. Ah. <laughs> uh... That's so annoying. Eveltal is not physical. It's mixed, if anything. I mean, it used foul play anyway. It used my attack stat. Oh, 
Oh, it's mixed. All right, well, still. It's both, yeah. What was your starter? My starter was a uh, Dragapult. Eveltal, worst Gen 6 legend confirmed. True. Out of the three. <laughs> it's weird. There really aren't that many legends in Gen 6. I guess they were trying to be like Gen 1 again. Should have went with Axio SMH. It's because I, I keep trying to get a uh, Ghost and Dragon at the same time. But I can do it, all right? If we believe hard enough, it's possible. Eveltal's good, what you mean? No, Eveltal's good. The roaming bird? What's the roaming bird? Am I tripping? I don't even remember it. In Gen 6? 